everyone. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Ambrosia Lip Color from Spectrum Cosmetics. I got this a little over a month ago and I have been loving it. It gives long lasting wear so basically you're getting the wear of a lipstick with the convenience of a lip gloss. It doesn't feather, it doesn't run, it's not too sticky, it's not too oily, it's very opaque. It goes on very smoothly and there is a bit of a tingle when you put it on. Now I think that that is because of the peppermint oil because it is not a lip plumping product and I don't think it's supposed to be. I think it's just actually the peppermint oil that's in it and it's very refreshing to put on. I find that it doesn't dry out my lips. Um, some of the ingredients in it are castor oil and peppermint oil and vitamin E. So it's actually very good for your lips, very conditioning and it doesn't dry them out at all. Now I find that with this product a little tiny bit goes a long way. I'll show you what I mean. You only need a little tiny bit like that and that might even be too much. A little bit goes a very long way with this product. So when I first held it up some of you were probably going, oh Tracy there's not much product in there. But really there is because a little bit goes a very long way. It's very opaque and it gives excellent coverage. Right now the Ambrosia Lip Color is available in 17 different colors. This particular color is Guava and I'm actually wearing it right now. Now a lot of you know that I was very disappointed when I bought the OCC Lip Tars from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. I was hoping for a very... I was hoping it would be thick. I was hoping that it would give like a vinyl lip impression. I was... I expected more from that product than what I got and when I got it I was very disappointed. I was like, oh, it's just another lip gloss, only a little bit brighter colors and fun colors. But I really, really was not impressed with the OCC Lip Tars. In fact, I would never buy them again because they weren't what I was looking for. So anyway, I'm going to show you some comparisons between my OCC Lip Tars and my Spectrum Ambrosia. So with my Lip Tars, I want to show you these. This is my black one and I hope you can see how the oil has separated and how disgusting it has gotten. I really hope you can see how disgusting that looks. That is what happened to my black one. But I've tried shaking up the black one and it makes no difference. You still have the oil and the... yeah, just yuck. Now with the OCC Lip Tar, to do a comparison with the Ambrosia, I'm going to use a pink one that I have. And then I'm going to put the Ambrosia underneath. And I'm going to hold them like this for a second because I really want you to see something. See how that pink from the OCC Lip Tars is starting to run? Look at the Ambrosia from Spectrum Cosmetics. It is still sitting right where it's supposed to be. It is not runny at all. So as you can see, the OCC Lip Tars, at least the ones I got, I don't know if they were a bad batch or what, but they were very oily and runny and just not what I was looking for. I think what I was looking for in the OCC Lip Tars is actually what I found in the Spectrum Ambrosia. To be perfectly honest with you, this is what I was looking for. It's not runny, it's not oily, and it gives the vinyl lip look that I wanted. That thicker, just vinyl, just out there lip. Now some of you may look at this and say, but Tracy, I have that, but my tube is different. Is it a different formulation? The answer to that question is no. The company that used to provide their tubes discontinued the tubes, so they had to get another company to do it. But you're getting the exact same product and you're actually getting two milliliters more. Now does this product have a smell or an odor? It does, it has like a mild peppermint smell to it. So it's not like the perfumey, waxy smell that you get from some lipsticks and glosses. It's actually just a really refreshing smell. Now on the Spectrum website, the Ambrosia Lip Color is $11. And I'll be honest with you, I think it's worth every penny. It is exactly what I've been looking for and I love it. And I, it conditions your lips, it's not oily, it's not runny, it gives you the opaque final look. It's just, it's an amazing product. Now what don't I like about this product or what would I change about it if I could? To be honest with you, there's only one thing I would change about this and that just has to do with the new tubes. Sometimes you have to squeeze, I'll try and show you here, really, really hard to get any product out of there. Like you can see, I'm still squeezing and I have 
I find it very difficult to squeeze hard enough to, there finally, but I find it very difficult to squeeze hard enough to get product out sometimes. So the only thing I would change is making it easier to use, easier to squeeze out because sometimes by the time you, like this time I just got the right amount, but sometimes by the time you do get it squeezed enough that some comes out, you wind up with a big glob that's way too much. So that's the only thing that I don't like about it. But I would definitely recommend this product. If you're looking for a gloss that has the wear of a lipstick that isn't oily or runny, that's actually good for your lips, that smells nice, and that gives you that opaque vinyl look, then this is definitely what you're looking for and I would highly recommend it to you. Until next time, talk to you later.